Barn owls are quite often found dead in water containers in the countryside. Cattle troughs, whether they're concrete, plastic, metal, horse water buckets. Um, if you've got a water butt in your garden and you live in the countryside, you could have a barn owl drowned in that. So what we need is a way to make these safe so the cattle can still drink. If you have a large water container in your garden or in the countryside, if you don't need it, well, tip it over, get rid of it. If you need the water and it's uncovered, perhaps cover it with some boards. But if cattle or your horse needs to drink, then you've got to make it safe. And the perfect solution are these wooden floats. This is plenty buoyant enough to support the weight of an owl, but when the cattle come along to drink, there's plenty of water there, and if necessary, they can push it down to get more water. It's the perfect solution. And they last for years. Look at this. This one has been floating for 19 years. I made it myself. And look, it's still doing its job. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make one. First, measure the water surface area and then take off 20 millimetres from the length and the width so that our float can go up and down nicely within the tank. You need some pressure treated timber. We use 25 by 50 millimetre baton. Um, you need some strong plastic mesh, stronger the better. Uh, some strips to give it buoyancy. This is expanded polystyrene, 25 mils thick. Alternatively, you can use uh, water pipe insulation, but after about 10 years, this will sink. And we want our float to float for donkey's years, so hopefully we're using uh, expanded polystyrene. The tools you need are really very basic, something to cut the mesh with, some small staples and a hammer, some screws. I'm using 70 millimeter and 50 millimeter plated screws, a screwdriver, electric one if you have it. It's really very basic. First, using galvanized staples, staple the end of the plastic mesh onto one of the short pieces of batten, and then using the long piece of batten as a guide for the length, staple the other end of the netting onto the other piece of short batten for the other end. And then, using plated screws, screw two of the long battens on, thus creating your frame. Turn it over and now put staples in on the long sides. You don't want cattle or anything else pushing the mesh out of the frame. Now insert your insulation. So ideally 25 millimeter expanded polystyrene, but you can use pipe insulation, which will be good for about 10 years. And then lay on top of that the other long pieces of batten that you've got ready and screw. We're using 70 millimeter screws uh, to go right through one batten, through the insulation and straight into the batten below. If you're using fairly hefty screws and the wood is dry, it is gonna split. So try drilling a hole through the first batten to accept the screw before it bites into the second one. All that remains now is to fit the, the other two pieces of short batten just to give the whole thing more strength. So there we go, one float ready to be installed in a trough. If you have any concerns about using copper treated timber 
in drinking water for cattle, by all means use elm or some rock resistant timber like larch for example, but we've been assured that this has no harmful effect on the animals whatsoever. You can find more information on the Barnow Trust website and if you'd like to make a donation to support this work, that would be wonderful.